everyone, I thought today you get a little introduction into my boat and how it looks inside. So we start here in front of the boat. You see, there's not so much space in here. So I have to crawl to the front. And yeah, so what you got there is a hatch that remains closed all the time. And here you usually store your sails or your bags in light wind. If we then go further back, we find the batteries of the boat here and the so-called wardrobes. Well, of course, it's not really a wardrobe, but this is the place where you store your stuff while you're sailing. And make sure that it doesn't fly around in the boat. Well, and now that we are already here, you might wonder what this hatch is. Well, if you remove this hatch, you can see the foil through here. And you put the foil in and out through this hatch. And as well, you can see the ropes that are putting the foils in and out through this little window and see if they are twisted or not and how the angle of the foil is. Very important one. And now we go back and we get to the most important part of this boat, the brain basically. So this is the core part of the boat. Now I'm just going to start the battery, the PC, the electronics, the what else do we need, control battery and as well VHF and AIS. You see it all starts. So I'm going to show you the electronics a little bit. This is the radar. Quite many boats visible at the moment as we're in the harbour. Um, this is the autopilot, but as well the NKE, which gives me all the wind data, um, true wind direction, and everything I need to steer the boat properly. Very important. It's basically like the second team made on board. The VHF, basically communication outside, a handheld VHF. And this device is quite funny. This is a sleeping timer. Awake. And uh, now to the really important bits, the computer. So you can see us up here the pink boat and all the other green boats are marking other boats are sailing outside actually that one is <laughs> on our lane that one could get dangerous for us in a little bit and this is the area where I'm usually training it's Ile de Gras and we are sailing around here yeah well that's a drainer there's lots more to know about the but I'm working on that myself at the moment. That's the bunk bed, where you're kind of storing the sails while sailing. And here you also have a little look in the back of the boat. More storing area to the right, the diesel tanks to the left. And in general, this boat is very, very spartanic very simple and apropos simple of course there's no toilet in a boat so what we have is a bucket and you better take the right bucket because we also got another one but that one isn't labeled <laughs> so I hope you like the inside of the boat and now I'm going to show you some specifics of a figure of three that make it easier to sail it single-handed. So I thought I'd explain you why this boat is really nice for single-handed racing and which little tricks are on board to make sailing single-handed easier. So on this boat you got these little cleats everywhere. For instance, on the mast, when you hoist the mainsail, you do not usually have a cleat here. But if you hoist here, you cleat it in, run backwards, 
and full tide on the Hayek. Talking about cleats, here's another handy cleat which helps you to keep the drip sheet tight when you need this winch to put on, for instance, a spinnaker sheet. So, another cleat handy for single sailing. And last but not least, the most important thing in single handed sailing is the autopilot, which you always have with you. Kind of clip it around like this. So it's always safe. And then I demonstrated to you now we're gonna bear away 10 degrees. Or actually 20. And the rudder is moving. That's about it about single-handed racing. <laughs>